Welcome back to the series where I talk about the everyday problems that people face with social anxiety. Today we are on problem number three, which is going outside to get the mail. When I lived in an apartment, I had a slot in the door to put letters through. And I never really realized how nice that was for my social anxiety until I moved it to this house where the mailbox is outside. I mean, it's right next to my door, but still I have to open the door to the street where there could be anyone passing by. And I'm disabled, so I have to move slowly or else there could be problems. I usually wait until nighttime to get the mail because then there's probably no one on the street anymore. Well, there might be some cars driving by, but even then, this is still a pretty quiet neighborhood, so there's not many people passing through. But when I order groceries to be delivered, that obviously can't wait until nighttime to get picked up. I usually only order groceries once a week. I'm just so scared of opening the door and going outside. And it's not just the front of the house, it's also the back. I have to go outside and water my plants once a day because it gets so hot. But just a few hours ago, my neighbor was out in their backyard mowing the lawn. And even though there's a fence between us and I couldn't see, I was still really nervous to go outside and water my plants. For the past couple months, I've been trying to focus on overcoming this fear because it's pretty unavoidable. Like, I have a big picture window in front of my living room that looks out onto the street and I can see all the people walking by. So I've set up my desk and everything to be right in front of the couch so I can't kind of be seen there because it's a big window and it's right in front of the house overlooking the street so anyone walking by could see. But it's not that easy because I have a special coating on my window and it's not like anyone walking by will come right up to the window anyway. But I still get pretty nervous about the possibility of being seen so I find it to be a little helpful at least. So that was day three. I'll be back again tomorrow with another one. I think I continue on with this issue of going outside or being seen in public, but I don't really remember exactly what it was. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one.